Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur. Five days after MGM was hit by cyber attackers, Caesars Entertainment has now also been hacked. Let's get into it. MGM Resorts International was struck on Sunday, as well as their Vegas properties, the Bellagio and MGM Grand. Now, customers had to wait hours to check into their rooms. Uh, they say that the doors to the casinos and the hotels were all unusable. The elevators were inoperable. ATMs and slot machines also didn't work. This has caused a myriad of problems. And now the same thing has happened to Caesars Entertainment and they say they're losing millions of dollars. But they have an idea of who these hackers may be. Of its resorts and casinos on the Strip, this comes just days after the Caesars chain says it was hacked, potentially exposing personal information of tens of millions of customers. Mola Lange is in Las Vegas with the latest. Chaos in Las Vegas after Sin City was hit by a massive cyber attack. This is the situation right now. MGM Properties trying to recover under siege since Sunday. Long lines snaking through the lobby of hotels like the Bellagio. Check-ins across MGM Properties taken offline. The people that are checking in have to fill out a piece of paper that, like they're writing down your credit card information. Also affected ATMs hotel key cards some guests being let in by security with physical keys the attack leaving slot machines silent messages on screens reading out of service it's not just vegas mgm casinos and hotels across the country including atlantic city experiencing outages and caesars revealing it too was the victim of a cyber attack costing them millions days before mgm was breached Cybersecurity analysts tell ABC News they believe a ransomware group known as Scattered Spider is responsible for the MGM attack. A hacker allegedly impersonating an MGM employee on a call with the help desk took down the system in just 10 minutes. Because this is such a high profile heist, if they get away with this, it really is going to open the door for these really kind of spectacular attacks against American businesses. And neither the business community nor the FBI can let this go unanswered. In Caesar's SEC filing, they claim that the hackers were able to get into their system via a social engineering attack through a tech support company that they use. Now in MGM's press release, they didn't mention how the hackers got into their system and requests for comments from their spokesman have not been answered as of yet. An FBI spokesman said that they are actively investigating this but wouldn't give any further details. And they say that they don't know where any of these hackers are located thus far. Also, law enforcement is actively collaborating with cybersecurity companies. And, you know, the U.S., they tend to work with cybersecurity specialists around the world uh, who track and arrest cyber criminals. Please pay attention. Uh, so with that all being said, this has cost a lot of money, millions of dollars, a whole lot of aggravation and headache. But, you know, uh, for those of you who follow me on YouTube, I've been telling you about these cyber attacks that were going to start popping up out of the woodwork. And uh, let's just hope that they don't do anything to the power grid because that would absolutely be catastrophic. Please pay attention. With that all being said, TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only.